They're going everywhere, but that's okay. <laughs> so the vacuum's for. Hey guys, I'm Maddie Bagala, AKA Pinch of Maddie, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a super size cinnamon scroll. It's awesome comfort food. The thing I love about this recipe is that it is fuss free. We're using pre-made dough bowls, which saves us time and mess. The first thing I'm going to do is preheat my oven to 220 degrees Celsius. I'm going to grease my dish with a little bit of olive oil, just a light spray. Next, we're just gonna lightly oil our surface. We don't need to use any flour because our dough is already the perfect consistency. Roll out the dough to about 24 by 30 centimetres, which is roughly an A4 piece of paper. You probably don't wanna be wearing big bell sleeves when you make something like this. Rookie mistake. This is looking good. It is a bit of work to perfect the shape. I pulled out some of the corners with my hands. I'm just going to brush it with some butter all over the top there. And you're just sprinkling generously with about a tablespoon of the cinnamon sugar, because we're gonna replicate this with our other two dough bowls. I love the smell of cinnamon. Just roll it up from the long edge into a nice tight cylinder. We're just gonna slice it down the centre but keep the top intact because we'll be twisting them together. Sort of like plaiting hair, but you're twisting it instead. And then coil it around itself and pop it into the centre of my dish, like so. Now we're just gonna add our second dough ball around the outside, stretch it around until the edges meet. It looks like a gorgeous flower. And because I'm using a dish with a loose base, I'm just gonna pop it on a tray, just in case the butter leaks out. Pop it in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes until it's lovely and golden and hollow when you tap it. It's been about 25 minutes, so I'm gonna take our supersized cinnamon scroll out of the oven and I'm gonna do a little test to make sure it's ready. It's the hollow test. Yep, she's ready. I've made a icing with icing sugar and milk and I'm just gonna drizzle that over the top. As you can see, it's a nice pouring consistency, slightly thick. Look at that, it looks gorgeous. And I just cannot wait to tuck in. I'm gonna finish it off with some hundreds and thousands. Nice pop of color as well. This is a really great dessert to make when your friends come over. It's easy, but it also looks great too. Let's give it a taste. That is absolutely delicious. It takes me back to my childhood. This is the perfect dessert. It is salty, sweet, and it's absolutely delicious. 